Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the driver being installed is not validated for this computer. Error you might be getting on your Windows computer that's running an Intel display adapter. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve without too much of a hassle. So assuming that you've already tried to update your driver and you're getting this error message saying this that it will exit, would you like more information? So if you're getting this kind of error, it might mean that the manufacturer has changed the setting within the Intel graphic drivers that have come pre-installed. So saying that a web that a driver from a website is not working properly. So some manufacturers do not keep the graphic drivers updated. So sometimes you have to actually get them directly from Intel or AMD. So we're going to assume most of you guys have an Intel display adapter. There are other display adapters out there, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to do an Intel. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up Intel's website here. You want to download the graphic drivers directly for your device. So you want to select the correct one. So let's just say Intel graphic driver for Windows 10 and this is going to be my graphics driver in here. So I'm going to just select that. Again, you guys are going to likely have different ones. I'm just going to select the one that I think is applicable to me here. I'm going to download the zip file format here. So I'm going to select that. It should be a compressed file here. Might take a minute to download. So please be patient.
Okay, so once it's done, I'm going to show in folder. I'm actually going to drag it over to my desktop here. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to left click on extract all. I'm going to extract it to this folder. We're going to make a new folder here. It's going to take a couple moments to extract. Okay, so once the folder has extracted, I'm going to close out of here. And now I'm going to go and open up Device Manager. So open up the Start menu, type in Device Manager. Best measure come up above Control Panel, just left click on that. Now we're going to go and expand the Display Adapter section, either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it. So in your case, it should say Intel and whatever the graphics type is here. Now I would make sure you get that one from the Intel website should be very important to do that. So just right click on whatever the Intel display adapter is listed here. Left click on properties. And once you've done that you want to left click on the driver tab. Left click on update driver. Left click on browse my computer for driver software. And then left click on where it says let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Now you want to left click on have disk. Left click on Browse. Now I'm going to back out of here until using the uh, menu here to go to the desktop. That's where I put my folder here. I'm going to scroll down until I get to my folder that I extracted here. So I'm double click on that. I'm going to go underneath the graphics folder. I'm going to select the IGDH64. That's what most people should be here. So 64 or 32 in its name is going to depend on what version of Windows you're running. So if you're running a 64-bit version, you want to select the 64-bit one. If you're running a 32-bit version, you want to select the 32-bit. So again, it goes back to the download that we went on the website here. It was a 64-bit download, as you can see listed right here. Just to give you guys an idea. So I'm going to select that, left click on Open, and then left click on OK. So however, since I'm using a VMware display adapter, it's not going to let me proceed, but otherwise it it show up in here. You just left click on that, then select next. After you've selected that one, it'd say Windows has successfully updated your drivers. Again, that's basically again just going directly like I showed, except you would actually have the ability to select that driver. However, since as you can see, I'm in a virtual environment, it's not going to let me. And then you go about installing your drivers you're having problems with once before. So you can go get the standard drivers from their website and install them on top of your current drivers or running them along the standard installer. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.